I run across this video of Candace Owens. Uh, I think it was on Instagram. And I'm pretty sure it's not on YouTube because YouTube probably would have deleted it. And what she was talking about, she says, what if they brought down the power grids? So all the power. So you would have electricity to your house. Uh, you wouldn't have to be able to charge your cell phones and all that stuff. So what if they brought that power down, turn it off? Would you guys be able to survive? And that's what she was talking about in this this video. And uh, she was being being really honest, you know. And um, I like Candace Owens. I, I like her honesty, you know. And like she said herself, she's a millennial, and they are not prepared for things like this. Me myself, I'm in that Generation X. I'm from the country, but I'm not fully prepared if something happened uh, like that. Because uh, like this past February, we had that cold front here in Houston. And my neighbors, they didn't know what to do. You know, um, they didn't know, some of them didn't even know how to light their fireplace. They sure didn't know anything about generators and they had a lot of problems. But I was fortunate enough, I got a generator. I know how to do a lot of this stuff. I wired up my house, so I had power all the time while some of my neighbors didn't have power. They had to go and try to figure out how to find a hotel and all the hotels were booked up. Plus the hotels didn't have power also. That was about a week without power, maybe almost two weeks. But let me let you listen to Kenny Sowens and you tell me what you think about this. What would you do if they brought the power grid down? And by they, I mean if the government purposefully brought the power grid down. And I'm not asking that question for fun. I'm asking that question because the World Economic Forum um, is predicting that a cyber pandemic, you can look this up, been running exercises about it this year, um, is inevitable. You're probably saying, what is a cyber pandemic? It doesn't make any sense. Like, you know, what are, what are we even talking about? If you look into the exercise that they have run this year, I believe they run it in July. Um, they, they've been meeting and talking about the cyber pandemic, what it would look like. Essentially, uh, their idea is that they're going to have to sanitize the internet uh, because a bug, think of this as like a coronavirus for your computer, um, is going to sweep globally. And the only way they're going to be able to stop this bug from infecting everything is to effectively shut down the internet, right? And they were talking about bringing down the power grid in an effort to do this. So imagine the government bringing down the power grid and you would not have access to anything um, that required an electrical charge. This, if this sounds crazy dystopian and like a nightmare to you, um, first off, first and foremost, this happens in other countries, right? Obviously in Cuba, when the government needs to stop people from communicating, they just bring down the power grid, right? Um, when the uprisings were happening in Cuba, I believe that was earlier this year, coronavirus time feels like, I don't know if it was the end of last year or early this year, they just brought down down the entire electrical grid. Um, but of course, Western nations would never do something like that. If they do it, it's because they need to do it, not because they're becoming evil communist dictators, but because they would need to do it for our benefit. So they were talking about the government breaking down, bringing down the power grid. And until they come up with a vaccine, I'm not kidding, this is their words, not, not mine, a vaccine of sorts for the internet, where they would be able to cleanse it and purge it of all of these things that are making it vulnerable. Among those things, they brought up Bitcoin, which is so funny, that one thing that the government can't get a handle on um, that is representing a threat to them and, and the financial markets, the control of the financial markets would be Bitcoin. And suddenly in running the simulation, they realized that Bitcoin you know, could potentially be a problem. If you think I'm kidding, you can look this up. It is called a cyber pandemic. And it's made me realize that we're very, weak generation of people. And I'm talking about weak, I'm talking about millennials, I'm talking about, you know, perhaps even the baby boomers of how little we actually learned about survival. And we so often talk about how the governments are right now teaching kids nothing, right? They're not learning math, they're not learning engineering, and they're not going to be able to do anything in life because they're not learning any hard academics, any hard skills. And I've talked about that so much until I started talking about this potential cyber pandemic and I realized actually, my generation was also dumbed down because you can read all the books in the world, every book in the entire universe, right? But if you don't actually know how to grow your own food, if you don't actually know how to survive off of your own land, how smart are you? 
we have convinced ourselves, especially me, I grew up in Connecticut, like coastal elites, very close to New York City, like we have convinced ourselves and the people that live in these cities, Los Angeles, uh, people that live in New York, as they're saying, we need the Green New Deal, get rid of this, so we don't want to be dependent on our own energy, like we'll send it overseas, we'll buy. We, have, we have convinced ourselves that we're so forward and we're so progressive that we're actually regressive. We don't know anything. We don't know how to grow our own food. The majority of us know how to grow our food. I have made it my entire initiative since moving to Tennessee is for my husband and I to be able to do everything by ourselves. Um, you know, I said to my husband, I need to learn how to grow vegetables. Like this is the most important thing. I need to be able to learn how to grow vegetables. We're gonna get some chickens. Like I never thought I would say this. Like we're gonna be getting chickens next year because I want to be able um, to know that we have food on our own property. I do not want to be a dependent. So for so long I had in my head that if you're not on welfare, right? then you're not government dependent, but that is so wrong, right? If you don't know how to survive, if you do not know how to grow your own food, if you don't know how to, to make a fire, I mean, think about everything you would have to, to know if the power grid went down, right? If you don't have a generator, if you don't have solar panels, I mean, I, I'm, just, I'm just spitting here, but like, think about all of the things. Actually imagine your life if the power grid was taken down. Like imagine how many things you'd have to know, right? And then I was saying to my cousin earlier, I was saying how weird it is every time if you if I have a question about something, even if I'm working on a recipe, I'm like, oh my God, what is what is the ingredient for this again? And I Google it. Everything you have to Google, you don't actually know. You're relying on the internet to tell you something that you don't actually have stored in your own brain, right? So we're so convinced that we're so forward and we're so progressive because we can get an answer fired back at us in a couple of seconds. But in reality, we don't know anything. If you have to ask Google, you don't have you don't possess the information within your own mind. And I've realized that big pharma has made us a lot more ignorant. The school systems have made us a lot more ignorant. And it's not that just the generations beneath us. It started with us. Um, so that's it. That's all I want to say. It was just a random thought that was on my mind that I wanted to share. Uh, if you agree, then maybe stock up on some stuff in your house that you might need. Maybe maybe buy some books. Um, yeah. Anyways, that was all I want to say. Quick little rant for you guys. Bye. Candace, I got to give you the thumbs up on this video. I think this is the best video you have ever made and what you said is totally true if we lose power uh, it's going to be some problems you know I look back at my mom and dad their generation those were some hard-working people especially my dad I, I watched him you know they were able to raise 14 kids my dad he couldn't read or write didn't have no kind of education and can we do that today raise 14 I don't know <laughs> it'd be very difficult but I know how he was able to do it because he, he had a garden, he had some pigs, cows, uh, he had chickens, he, was, he could hunt. This man could pull a motor out of a vehicle and rebuild it and replace it. And we had a spring down there, so if we need water, we can go to the spring and get water. So back then, they, they knew how to survive without nothing. So this is a great video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.